I'm Solange from Golden Keras and today I would like to show you just demonstrate how to make some cheesecloth Halloween ghosts. The instruction is on the website but I thought i will just demonstrate in front of you and also um, tell you what ingredients you need. Uh, you can do the structure of the ghosts with a lot of things that you have at home and um, and the things you buy is, is the cheesecloth and perhaps the um, star, liquid starch. I didn't buy the liquid starch. Uh, I made some starch with uh, a corn flour. If you buy the, the starch, the liquid starch, you follow the manufacturer's uh, instructions. So um, the important thing about the ghost is, is to make a structure for the body, you know, like a a skeleton. So this one here is made with a glass and some aluminium foil and an orange. And this one here is made can make can be made with um, soda bottle as well. You just mark where you want the arms and make a little hole and use bamboo skewers for the arms and the styrofoam uh, balls. And that one here is for a very small one. As you can see, it's um, a toilet roll uh, paper with some um, puddle pops for arms. I will show you how to make this one. If you have the styrofoam ball to fit here, it's good. But if you don't, like I didn't, I had to cut and put a sticky tape here to the size of the ball. And, um, and then if you don't have... Um, the arms can be made with a, a rolled up aluminium. You put it inside here and make it like a little arm here. And then you put the, the ball, the styrofoam ball, and you stick it on the aluminium like that. And then what you have to do is you must, you, you need the, the cling wrap food cling wrap because if you don't uh, the glue will stick to the cardboard so you need it doesn't stick so much to the orange or to the styrofoam you can ease it out but with cardboard is impossible it's so you need that so let's do one now you need a piece of cheesecloth big enough to cover uh, and and then you you dip it in, uh, in the in the glue and then you run your fingers to take most of it out like that and it's better if you have someone to help you to straighten it up but if you don't just put over your the container you are using and it, it's important to have it nicely there you are and we put it on top and we let it um, straighten it up as much as you can on the back and let it dry um, if you let it dry in the sun it goes faster but otherwise you can dry it in the overnight uh, now if you want to make a um, these ghosts, as you can see, they are all to be hanged with just with a needle and a thread you make it for hanging. However, if you want to make one to sit up, you can make one, you can use a tray so that, um, and the cheesecloth has to be a little bit like a couple of uh, inches longer than uh, the, the, the height of your structure. And then, um, you can, it, it will be able to stand like that. And here is another structure dynamic. So um, there is quite a few um, ideas about the structure. You can use whatever you have at home. Now for eyes, you can use um, black paper and glue or felt and glue. I hope you have fun on Halloween and see you next time. Thank you.